Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share the recipe for making express chicken biryani in the instant pot for beginners. So this is the easiest biryani recipe made with very simple ingredients. I'll be also sharing some tips on how to avoid burn error while cooking biryani in the instant pot. So guys, let's get started. The very first step is to marinate the chicken and for making this biryani we have to use bone-in chicken pieces that's when the biryani will taste delicious so I have taken 11 bone-in chicken uh, legs or drumsticks you can take any kind of bone-in chicken pieces here's a tip for making biryani we should not be using the skin so we have to remove the skin so I've removed the skin so next uh, we have to put uh, uh, lines or score the chicken so add a couple of lines over the meat so this will ensure all the spices and flavors will get into the chicken so we have to do this so the chicken is ready here so i'm going to add everything so one tablespoon ginger garlic paste adding one and a half teaspoon chili powder I've added regular chili powder, it's a bit hot. So if you don't like your biryani to be spicy, you can replace regular chili powder with Kashmiri chili powder. Uh, it's available at the Indian store. It has a vibrant red color and it is less hot. So next I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon garam masala and two teaspoon coriander powder. So let's add that. Season the chicken with half teaspoon salt. As you can see, I've only added very few simple Indian spices. So you don't have to add a lot of spices to make your biryani flavorful, aromatic and delicious. This is good enough. Freshly squeezed lemon juice, two tablespoon. So it's good to use fresh lemon juice. Next, adding fresh mint leaves, 20 leaves chopped and it is very important to add fresh mint leaves. It will greatly enhance the taste and flavor of the biryani and chopped cilantro that's like a quarter cup finally let's add three tablespoon plain yogurt so yogurt will tenderize the chicken we have added all the marination ingredients next let's combine everything and let everything evenly coat on the chicken and give it a good mix we need to let this marinate for at least 30 minutes it's very important so that way the chicken will be very flavorful so if you have more time you can marinate this for longer hours or you can even marinate this overnight so make this the previous night let this marinate and you can make the biryani the next day the next step is to soak the basmati rice so for making biryani we have to use basmati rice please don't use any other kind of rice and these days basmati rice is a Available at almost all grocery stores and the basmati rice has to be good quality so that makes a huge difference in the taste and aroma of the biryani so I'm gonna add uh, two cups basmati rice so let's soak in water so measure the rice next adding two cups water let the rice soak for 15 to 20 minutes so the chicken is marinating and also the rice is soaking in water so next let's slice the onions here's the size of the onions i've used and three yellow onions so yellow onions are great for cooking and for making biryanis um, i wouldn't recommend using red onions so please use yellow onions for better taste it's been 20 minutes so let's rinse the soaked basmati rice so pour it to a strainer like this and rinse it under running water till the water turns clear so we have to rinse the basmati rice so i'm going to do that we have done all the prep work so next let's start cooking i'm using instant pot duo model so first let's uh, click on saute setting and the temperature should be normal saute setting has a default 30 minutes timer so in a few seconds it will turn to on and when the stainless steel pot turns hot it will display hot on the screen so it will take a couple of minutes i've placed the stainless steel pot into the main pot so let this turn hot the display has changed to hot so the stainless steel pot has turned hot so next let's add three tablespoon ghee or clarified butter 
don't have to add any oil so the ghee is very aromatic it will make the biryani taste super delicious so to the ghee i'm adding dried bay leaves to two whole cardamoms so add that let it turn aromatic for a few seconds and next let's add the sliced onions i've taken three yellow onions sliced Using a spatula, saute the onions and let's add half teaspoon salt. It's very important we keep stirring the onions. We only have to saute the onions till they turn slightly translucent. If we caramelize the onions, chances of getting burn error while pressure cooking is high. So if the onions turn brown in color and if it is stuck to the bottom of the stainless steel pot while pressure cooking, instant pot will give out burn error. So to avoid that, we don't have to uh, saute the onions till they turn brown. We only have to saute till they turn translucent. So the onions have turned translucent. Now let's add the marinated chicken. So I've marinated the chicken for 30 minutes. So let's add that. Combine everything well. Add all the marinade that's stuck to the bowl. Cancel saute setting. And let's close the pot with the lid. And make sure the bottom of the stainless steel pot has not turned brown. So mix everything well. In simple duo model, we have to turn the steam release knob to ceiling so make sure it's in ceiling and press it down and make sure it's tightly kept and also make sure the lid is closed tightly so next let's uh, set the pressure manually click on manual so we have to set the time to five minutes and the pressure should be at high so in this model we don't have to click start so now we can just walk away so let this pressure cook for five minutes for cooking chicken, we don't have to add any water. So liquid will ooze out of the onions and chicken while pressure cooking. So there will be enough liquid in the pot after pressure cooking. After we set the time and pressure, it will take a few minutes for the pressure to build. And once the pressure has built, the timer will start. So in biryani, one of the key ingredients we have to add is saffron. This will greatly enhance the aroma and taste of the biryani. So please don't skip adding this. So we only need like 10 strands, adding 2 tablespoons water or you can even add milk and let this soak for 2 minutes. 5 minutes of pressure cooking has completed. So I'm going to do a quick pressure release. So I'm going to turn the steam release uh, knob to venting and then let's uh, pull that up. Steam has completely released, so now let's open the lid. So be very careful, it's very hot. So there will be some condensation liquid in the lid. So just pour the liquid into the stainless steel pot. So here is the perfectly cooked chicken after five minutes of pressure cooking. Let's give everything a good mix. Next, we have to cook the rice. So we have to add the soaked rice to the cooked chicken. In the instant pot for cooking two cups rice, we have to add two cups liquid. So we can add up to two and quarter cups liquid. So one is to one ratio. So two cups rice, two cups liquid will make the rice crisp. But if we add additional quarter cup uh, water, it will make the rice uh, soft. So to be precise, we can also measure the liquid in the pot. So there's enough liquid in the pot that oozed out of the onions and chicken. Let's pour the liquid to a measuring cup and let's measure it. There will be onions. We don't have to add that, just the liquid. So be very careful. All right, so here is the liquid after pressure cooking chicken. This is very flavorful, aromatic. Uh, so this is actually chicken broth. So I'm going to precisely measure this. So I have a little over than one cup. So this is perfect. Pour the liquid back to the stainless steel pot. So next I'm going to add additional one more cup water. So I'm going to add warm water. Here's the additional one more cup water. So for two cups rice, we have to add two cups to two and quarter cups water. Now it's time to add the soaked and rinsed basmati rice. So this is two cups. Let's add it. 
After adding the rice, immerse the rice in the liquid. So let all the rice immerse in the liquid. If the rice is not fully immersed in the liquid, it can be crispy after pressure cooking. So I have fully immersed the rice in the liquid. We have to season the rice with salt. So I'm adding half teaspoon salt and the soaked saffron in water. So look at the beautiful golden color. So adding saffron. Even while cooking rice, we have to add fresh mint leaves and cilantro. So adding mint leaves and fresh cilantro so that's it guys let's close the pot with the lid turn the steam release valve to sealing and make sure the lid is closed tightly we are going to pressure cook for just five minutes so i'm going to set the time to five minutes and pressure should be high so that's it we can just walk away pressure cooking has completed let's do a quick pressure release be very careful the steam has completely released and the house already smells like chicken biryani. It's really aromatic. So let's open the lid. The cooked basmati rice has formed a layer on the top and it has cooked perfectly. So if you feel the rice is crisp, what you can do is close the pot with the lid and let it rest for a few minutes and the rice will turn soft. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close the pot with the lid. So don't have to completely close it, just cover it with the lid and let this rest for five minutes. It's time to serve the biryani. So I allowed it to rest for five minutes. So let's open the lid. So the rice has turned soft. Take the pot out of the main pot. So gently mix everything. So be very gentle. Otherwise, the chicken can break apart. It's good to use a tongue to take the chicken out. It's actually buried in the rice. Look at this. The chicken has cooked perfectly, so it's still juicy and tender. Finally, let's garnish with chopped fresh mint leaves and cilantro. Here it is guys, the best tasting and delicious aromatic express chicken biryani made in the instant pot effortlessly. We can also top the biryani with roasted cashew nuts, raisins and fried onions. So this is express chicken biryani so I'm gonna skip all those. If you add all those, it will taste even more delicious. Perfect timing, it's dinner time so I'm gonna have express chicken biryani for dinner. So let me have this. So the rice has turned really fluffy and uh, soft. Mm. Oh my god, so flavorful and aromatic. Every single time this biryani turns out awesome. I'm not kidding guys, you have to try this recipe. And the chicken, even though we pressure cook the chicken for total 10 minutes, it's not a fall apart, it's perfectly cooked, it's soft, tender and moist and very flavorful as we have marinated the chicken for 30 minutes. Perfect. I have to tell you guys, the rice is extremely flavorful and aromatic. So we cook the rice in the flavorful and aromatic chicken broth. That made a huge difference. And I can enjoy the aroma of um, fresh mint leaves, cilantro and saffron. Extremely aromatic. So guys, follow the recipe and follow all the tips and tricks that I shared in this video. So if you haven't tried this biryani yet, give it a try. You're gonna love it. It's absolutely delicious. So let me know your feedback after trying this biryani and also after watching this video. So I do have many instant pot videos. I'll post all the links in the description below. Check that out. So if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate that. So I'll be back with more easy breezy, delicious instant pot cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.